Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery. Got a product video for you today. We wanted to tell you about the Tight Spot Rise Light Quiver. This is going to be a compound bow quiver from the folks at Tight Spot. It is a five arrow quiver, so that's how many arrows this is going to hold. And got a couple uh, unique ways that you're going to be able to connect this. So first off, this is going to be your mounting bracket. This is going to be what you're going to attach to the bow. So if you have a bow where, you know, one of the Matthews bows where you have, uh, you have the bridge lock and your sight is mounted in the riser, you can attach this directly to the outside of the riser and then it connect, the quiver attaches this way mounts in there and then I clamp it down and that holds it in place. So you can imagine if that's on the side of the bow, all of this is real tight to the riser. Or if you have your sight mounted on the outside of the riser, you have a standard sight block, you're just going to connect this to the sight block, in which case this will stick out a little bit farther from the bow. It won't be flush like it would if you mounted this directly to the riser. Now. We have here up top, you've got the um, a nice hanging lanyard here. If you're someone who likes to take the quiver off and attach it to the tree, you know, you're sitting in a tree stand hunting, you want to hunt with this quiver off the bow, you can hang it up like that. Incidentally, that on and off is super simple with just this latch. That's what releases it from your mounting point. And I mean, this thing, it's simple, but when it's locked down, it's not moving anywhere. So it's not going to rattle if you do shoot with it on. You've got carbon rods here. This quiver only weighs 9.9 .9 ounces. It is just over 19 inches long, so it's not super long, kind of compact. You can see here I have these four screws. So that's going to allow me to adjust this up or down for you to get that balance right or positioning right. You know, if you want to make sure that this hood is not taller than your top limb, you can adjust this to, to lower it or get it to wherever you want it. And then, of course, you can play with it to get that balance right as well. You do get three arrow connection points, okay? You've got your two rubber grippers, and then, of course, you've got the rubber seat up here in the hood that's going to hold your arrows as well. What that means is three connection points, those arrows really aren't going to move, but tight spots grippers are super strong anyway. You can see these things are meant to hold onto the arrows tight so they don't pop out. Down here we have tight spots uh, unique wedge locks. So you can see the Allen screw in each one of these. I'll show you, I'll tip it up so you can see there. So I can drive that wedge in or out depending on the diameter of arrows I'm using. You know, if I'm using super skinny arrows, I can drive this in. If I'm using fat arrows, I can back it out. That's going to change the pressure that these grippers put on the arrows. I'll just take an arrow and put it in here. You can see how those things grip. There's, there's like two seats down in each one of these, again, depending on arrow diameter, and just holds them rock solid. I will say, Tight Spot does have, if, if you're going to have your quiver on the bow, they do have what they call their quick draw attachment. That's this one right here. So if I put an arrow in here, got it right there. Now, if I'm hunting, you know, I've got my bow, this is how I'm holding my bow, that this is like a quick draw arrow because I just have to pull it back towards me to get it out. I don't have to go out to the side, straight back towards me, I can get that arrow out in a hurry. So that's a handy position for one of your arrows right there. As we mentioned, up inside, you are going to have seats up there for your broadheads, and that is a rubber uh, seat that's in there. The whole inside of the quiver is of the hood is lined with rubber just to keep that quieter than 
you know, doesn't have that high pitch of the raw plastic out here. Just having that rubber in there in case they would come out, they're not, you know, that rattling noise isn't going to be too, too loud and obnoxious. Um, so if the quiver is tight to your riser, um, then this may contact the cable arm. So what you're going to do is just spin this around until you find whatever is the right separation, the right distance, so that this is sitting against your cable arm rather than the carbon rod of the quiver. Um, so just a little feature there to make sure that this thing stays quiet when it's on your bow. All right, so that is the Tight Spot Rise Light Quiver, a five arrow quiver from the folks at Tight Spot. They're always coming out with awesome quivers for compound bows. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications wherever we put out new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.